I'm about a year away from being able to pronounce number five's last name. Well, it looks like it might be DJ. We're going to try it ourselves, and we'll get better as we go along, we hope. Uwe Anga Lale. Uwe Anga Lale. Well, he looked like one of the most talented young quarterbacks I've ever seen in pre-game warm-ups. I mean, he's 250. He moves around really well, and he has a rifle. I mean, it, I don't know how they're going to handle this quarterback situation moving forward, but that's, you know, that's next year's issue. <laughs> oh, you're a good man, Kevin. We'll see Louisville next Saturday night, ABC primetime against Miami. Absolutely not. We're going full steam ahead. We fully expect it will take place. The playoff has scheduled. Here's a deck. They don't have enough good players. He's 6'3", 215. He's a high jumper. Basketball player in high school. He's only played two years of high school football. One in Canada, one in Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater Academy. E.J. Williams, another freshman. And that levels the playing field potentially a little bit more. Still going to have their work cut out for them against this super talented Clemson football team. A much anticipated game on November 7th. Uyango Wale. Drotty again. That will likely be the last play of the game. Well, Clemson had an overall winning streak of 29 games. 